I got this WeBoost. It is the Drive 4GX model. It's supposed to boost the cell signal 32 times. It's like a two or three foot antenna. I was reading the instructions and you get a second bag that has some thread lock in it. And it has a fitted disc washer, which is on the left, and then a, a nut. And they actually have this important notice that's folded up in the little bag. And it tells you how you need to properly attach the antenna to the bracket. In step one at the bottom, it does talk about removing the existing nut and mounting the fitted disc washer with nut that's provided. It comes with a nifty bracket that you can mount. I actually mounted it on the U bracket that mounts the tire on. It said mount the washer with the lip up and the nut with the lip down. So now to run the cable. It comes with a very long run of cable. It pretty much runs the length of the RV. I did a speed test on my two bars of 4G and got about 1.1 megs download and 0 0.06 megs upload. So I'm hoping that once I connect to this antenna that it will significantly increase my connectivity to the cell towers. When that is off, there's no green light there on the booster, my download speeds inside are 0.5 some downloads, like half a meg download and like almost 0.4. So not even quite half a meg upload speed. When that light turns on, my two bars of 4G goes to three bars of 4G, and my download speed goes to almost four megs down, and I actually have almost like five and a half megs up. So that is incredible. I haven't even put the jetpack in to do the wireless. I'm incredibly impressed with the uh, WeBoost at this point. It is the uh, Drive 4GX model, definitely significantly boosted my connectivity inside of the RV and I'm in a big metal cage on wheels. In case you're interested in the WeBoost, you can find an Amazon link in the video description below so you can check out the price and features. Enjoy! Now, put my WeBoost aside for a bit because I need to run power. I bought some 10 gauge wire, routed through the plastic conduit piece down around there and then that I can kind of route my wires up through here. So my goal is to, I've got three cigarette lighters, 12 volt cigarette lighters, and two of them are going to go to have inverters plugged into them and one of them will be for the WeBoost to plug directly into for power. I actually pulled out this panel that was in there. I'm going to try to find either a replacement version of this that's maybe a little more solid because it doesn't hold very well with the AC plug. It, you know, when you plug and unplug stuff, it, the, the panel actually flexes pretty decently. So for now, I have the antenna going underneath here. It kind of comes through the, the rubber uh, weather stripping in the door and kind of comes up through under here and goes up the edge here comes up to the top here I was able to bring the cable through there's a couple of holes that have been drilled um, through the bottom I pulled the antenna cable through there and I've got some 10 gauge wire here that's stranded and I've got my ground line and I've got 40 feet of red One's going to be for this circuit, and then the other circuit that I'm going to run eventually is going to go up through this panel, and it's going to go up over the metal beam that holds the air conditioner above it, and then it's, the cables are going to then run um, behind the paneling, uh, behind the shower, and then there's going to be a workstation set up on this wall. This is where all the DC lines run, the 12 volt lines run. I went ahead and pulled all the electrical tape off of the, the plastic conduit uh, so I can go ahead and run some more cable. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and that's gonna become a 20 amp circuit and the new red line will run. There's a couple other circuits that are open that I will be using to run the second workstation line. I am going to be wiring this guy up. I'm gonna wire it in parallel. It came with this wiring harness that has a slidable plastic insulators. So I'm going to remove the plastic insulators. Got some uh, heat shrink tubing 
gonna put the heat shrink on here and get them all wired up. Then I'll crimp the leads to my lines. This is the first time I've used shrink wrap. It's awesome. I am super stoked at how it comes out. On to my next wiring harness and then I'm gonna wire up the leads to the converter and so I've got the hot and the, the ground and then I'll be ready to test and run all the cabling for the wireless the booster and the jetpack and the uh, inverter which will eventually power the TV and the computer and all that stuff. Alright so I finished it. I have the receptacles and the voltmeter wired up. I have them all shrink wrapped. I went ahead and wired the wires go through down here up into the converter and I topped off the ground because I can't get to the ground let's back here there's a lot already on it and then this cable is the one that came into the bus and then there's a fuse right there so I had to put a 20 amp fuse uh, there's also some documentation on here that says max fuse size is 20 amps now it's pretty much just computer TV and the wireless equipment which should be very relatively low draw so I'm gonna put a fuse in see if I don't blow myself up see you in a few minutes I put the fuse in that 20 amp fuse right there on the top and I have a voltmeter working so that's good so I finished running my cable actually ran a second line which you can see the red cable 10 gauge line there that actually goes up up into here and across the center piece and then it goes up into behind that back panel there the line kind of goes along here and as you can see it goes along this little track here I had to fish it through back this way through the shower wall piece and all that stuff so I fished it through it's wrapped up here so it's wired up it works I was running the Wi-Fi booster and I had the inverter plugged in so we upgraded from from kind of we had two uh, old-school cigarette lighter 12 volt lighters plugs it was like a J box up in inside the cabinet that had another set of wires. The set of wires here, I daisy chained off of them, connected to a TV antenna. So I took the TV antenna booster out, and I took all of this out, and decided to upgrade this. Plus, I want to go to power the TV, the wireless, the phone and data signal booster, and the MiFi jetpack, and a docking station, plus a laptop that might be charging and might also be doing like video editing and you know some things that might make it chug along so it'll pull some some power. I set up the antenna booster this is actually the antenna that comes in and actually boosts so there's an antenna on the outside and then inside of here is the Wii Boost booster the antenna the boosted signal goes up through there and comes out to there and then this guy here is the Verizon Wi-Fi uses 4G um, LTE so it's really close to this this antenna so it should pick up a, the boosted signal and then it also projects its own Wi-Fi network so there's three bars of 4G LTE when I click on the Wii Boost a few seconds later it goes up to five bars so the Wii Boost is uh, definitely boosting the cell signal and the data signal super excited about that <laughs> 